guys, Day Yoongi here, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some K-pop songs that I think deserved a music video but didn't get one. This is actually part two to a video I released like seven or eight months ago now, but it feels like a lot longer. As always, please note that these are just my opinions, and any video ideas I come up with in this video are completely just for fun, and I'm not intending to send any hate to any artist or individual for the songs they chose to release instead, and things like that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. First song I want to talk about is Anti-Romantic by TXT. Sorry, I'm an anti-romantic. Fun fact, I've been planning this video for so long that I actually also had another TXT song on this list, and that was Frost. And we unknowingly manifested that one, so hey, let's see if we can do this one too. No, in all seriousness. I do understand why music video hasn't been released for this song, it is just a b-side at the moment, but it's no secret that this song is very popular amongst mowers, like it has more Spotify streams than some title tracks of theirs, I think. So I'm surprised that Hive haven't picked up on this and, you know, put one in the pipeline for us, but anyway. I don't know what I'm picturing for this music video in particular but it has to be dramatic I think. I don't know why but I'm picturing scenes of like each of them walking along in like black and white where it shows them all quote unquote getting over a breakup in different ways by like reminiscing on the good times and the bad and how things could have been but now it's all over and they've got to get over it sort of thing. This song isn't necessarily even about a breakup it's kind of more about expecting the worst and knowing a crush or love is inevitably going to pardon the pun crush you. So them looking back on the good times with sadness could depict that as if they're trying to convince themselves that they just aren't in love anymore because they have to get over it no matter how much they want this person. It would actually be a really sweet video I think, especially with the black and white element, it'd be quite sad and you'd really feel for them. Next up, I think a music video should have gone to Pose by Red Velvet. I think this song could have had such a fun music video, even just from reading the lyrics, it exudes this like sort of confidence that I would love the girls to be able to showcase in a music video. It's all about, you know, like being the main character and embracing this sort of poise and demeanor because you know you are it. And although they have a lot of really interesting video concepts, I can't really name an MV by Red Velvet in which I think they have shown this really big confidence, if that makes sense. Even though the songs literally sound nothing alike, I feel like the music video could have perhaps a similar concept to that of Mago by G Friend. Like, you know, the pretty girls having fun and getting ready to go to a party. However, for this MV, I would also like to add like a super fun runway to accompany the striker pose lines and the chorus, where the girls could showcase like a bunch of outfits, sort of like a transformation time lapse that they always seem to have in like chick flicks. I hope you know what I mean. Like you know that point where whatever's happened in the movie has made them decide to have like a fun style transformation where they have like a try on clothes sequence? I'm picturing something along the lines of that. Next up, I want to talk about Canvas by 4 Minutes. This song is in this list for no other reason than the fact I just vibed with it so much when it came out and then we got to see a few live stages and that was great but I'd have loved to have seen some kind of music video as well because I can't help but think the kind of video it could have had. So because of that I have been giving it a think. If you read the lyrics they're kind of using the canvas as a metaphor for the love they can explore together with someone so not to make it sound too literal but I think it would have been really cool to have the MV set in like a pretentious fancy art gallery opening. I'm talking like Gossip Girl style if you've ever watched that. The girls could be all dressed up in like super expensive outfits but like masquerade style so they're low-key hiding their faces a bit. But they could be like following this one guy around the gallery. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else but I think it'd have been a super concept and really fit the style of the song. So it's kind of like you're intrigued to explore the love you could have with somebody so that's why they're like following him around the gallery and he's being all suspicious as well. Another song I would have loved to give a music video to is Artificial Love by EXO. Can you trust this? You got that. I love EXO's B-sides so much, so because I talked about The Eve in part one, I thought I would talk about another EXO B-side that definitely deserved a music video. The lyrics to this song are pretty self-explanatory, it's about knowing somebody you love is a complete phony basically. If you've seen any live performances of this song at their concerts, then you know they didn't really hold back at all with the choreography, and I think an MV would kind of be similar because you know, hey, they're grown adults, and this sort of dark storyline where they're trying to expose a liar or a cheating lover would have been a really interesting challenge for them that I'm sure they could have pulled off. I'm picturing a lot of dark scenes but like lights, like red lights and things like that. I don't mean like the traffic ones, I mean like just generic ones. <laughs> I think the post chorus is, you know, this part. Love, love, oh, oh, oh. 
would have been where most of the actual impactful drama would happen in the video. They could actually be like at the club, but of course I am VIP because they're expensive. And basically like observing the girl play them. She could just be at the club with her friends getting hit on by guys. Uh, maybe she could even work there and like be looking at them fully knowing and aware of what she's doing sort of thing. Because in the song, this girl is an innocent. Like the lyrics say, she doesn't love me, it's an artificial love. And they know that and she's not being discreet about it or anything. So I think the girl in this video would have to be the same, you know, very open, very smug about what she's doing. Next song we're gonna talk about is Don't Know What To Do by Blackpink. This song, although the lyrics could be depicted as quite sad, does still have the fun upbeat instrumental when the beat drops. So because of that, I feel like we could really get a fun MV from this one too. For this one, I think you could go in a lot of different directions with it, but for some reason, I was picturing a certain one, and that is a girl's holiday. Because we know there's nothing stronger than having your friends around you when you're trying to get over a guy or something like that. So perhaps the girls could be having fun in the sun on a little holiday, going from summer days to summer nights. Or in the evening, there could be like a beach party with the choreography that they do and a general big party with a bunch of people. It would also be fun to kind of have a lot of it be self-filmed by the girls, as if they were vlogging from like a real girls holiday, trying to find the joy in what could have been a sad situation. I think that would give the song a lot more of a personal approach and feel to it, which I think sometimes we can be lacking in these songs and music videos by the girls. Another K-pop song that I think could have got on a music video is Enemy by Card, specifically Jiwoo and So Min it seems. <laughs> I'm actually shocked that there wasn't an MV made for this song, even like a little low quality one or something, or like a lower budget one, to go beside the title track. I just think it would have been super cool. There's a choreography video, but that's it. The lyrics of the song basically explain how easy it is to start to hate somebody you once loved. So I think a video for this could definitely incorporate like the girls working together to get back at a guy or something. I think I would like the video to largely incorporate the choreo from the dance video too, because it is good and it definitely shows that a lot of work has been put into that. So maybe the next step would be to add it to a music video. I know I'm probably being like dramatic here but with this song being the style that it is and the lyrics being what they are it would be so cool to have like an action movie style MV here with like you know I don't know secret agents or car chases and stuff like that. A bit Bond 007 but not that extreme you know. I think you could make that vibe work really well and it'd be different for them. Kind of like gunshot but with even more of a storyline. Next song we're going to discuss is Cry For Me by Twice. I want you to cry, cry for me. This one was actually requested by multiple people in the comments of my part one for me to include in a part two if I was to do one, so here goes. But to be honest, I couldn't agree more. I definitely see why people want this song to get a music video and why they thought it deserved one. This song definitely deserved way more than just the performance that we got and like the choreography video because this mature and raw concept really suited them and allowed the girls to show another side of themselves that we fail to see sometimes when they're releasing their happier and more upbeat style of music, which of course suits them, but there's nothing wrong with branching out either. Either. This one I kind of struggle with to picture an MV for a lot more than the other songs in this list just because it's completely unlike anything these guys have ever done before. But I think I would like it to be kind of artsy and maybe conceptual as like a different route for them to go down. Or alternatively, I don't know why, but I'm kind of picturing a similar aesthetic to that of Red Velvet's Psycho music video maybe. You know what? There's a lot of similar tones in the video so it's easy on the eye, it's kind of elegant and they're dressed up looking nice and expensive. But then on the flip side, I also picture there being some dramatic scenes like like maybe rain when it gets to the climax parts of the last bridge and chorus. Perhaps to represent like the cry for me crying in a poetic and powerful way. Another song I 100% think deserves a music video is Evil by Shiny. I don't know if people are familiar with this song as it is a bit of an older one now from back on the Why So Serious album days but oh my god I love this song so much and I'd have loved to see it get a music video because although it is hard hitting there are also levels to it so I think it'd have been really fun to explore different video ideas with. When you read the lyrics to this song there's a lot of dark themes to it so you could go down so many routes maybe with like a supernatural theme because it talks a lot about things such as blood and that kind of makes you think of vampires you know werewolves vampires versus werewolves not to make a twilight 
Skelet reference or anything. There's also a few mentions of like poison and snakes in different ways too, so it could be cool to go down like a dark Greek mythology kind of route, focusing on the use of those snakes and the word evil in the song and like dark thoughts taking over and making people kind of do bad things, which I think the lyrics seem to describe. If you haven't heard this song, I would thoroughly recommend it and then let me know what kind of route you would take the video in. Like I said, it could go in so many ways and Shiny deserve only the best, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think it should be. Next song I think deserved a music video is Witch, which is from the TV show Good Girl and starred some of the cast members, which were the soloists Cheetah and Jamie, Girls' Generation's Hyoyeon, Card's Jiwoo and CLC's Yeon. <laughs> I am sorry, I do feel like I talk about this song a lot, like all the time, because it is one of my top K-pop songs of 2020 and 2021, it's been up there for years now, and I still listen to it like it just came out. At this point, I'm even willing to offer my services, I'll come and fly over to film a music video because they perform this so solidly, solidly, is that a word? I don't know, so solidly, that I think it deserves a music video. You don't have to think too much about this one either, because when you look at the stage, they kind of already gave it a storyline, they had this sort of like prison or locked up storyline set up where they were trying to contain the girls from doing, I don't know, something bad. But they're trying to break free anyways. They're kind of sat at like a press conference table or something and like ripping off the orange jackets and breaking free. So that sort of concept would be really cool for a music video. Like them all breaking out together sort of thing rather than going too literal with the use of the word witch and having like witches and potions and stuff. This one is ready and waiting to produce. They could all play different roles in the escape and there could be like fire and smoke when they finally break out. And the final few lines where it slows down to acapella and the instrumental fades, it could just be them walking out slow motion victorious, you know? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. And another song we have to talk about that I think should have definitely gotten a music video is So Far Away by Agus D featuring Saran. So This song was a cultural reset when the mixtape came out and there's honestly something so reassuring about the lyrics. The first like 10 times I listened to this song, it made me so emotional and even more so when I read the lyrics. It's kind of like the reminder that don't worry if it feels like everybody around you is progressing in life but you still don't know what you want to do because hey, a lot of people are in the same position and all we can do is carry on dreaming and hope for better days to come because they do. This song 100% deserves a music video because it's that little bit of inspiration that I think we need and we crave. I don't necessarily think Aegis D or Saran even need to be in the music video unless it's only towards the end and you'll see why in a sec when I explain the storyline I would go for. I think the music video should mainly focus on like a younger person trying to find their way in the world as the lyrics describe and not really knowing what they want to do or who they want to become because these better days people speak of, pardon the pun, literally seem so far away. And then at one point during the dream part towards the end, perhaps they could come face to face with their older self, that being Yoongi himself or Saran. Perhaps both, there could be a little buy in the video and a little girl to show how people's ideas of struggling can be different but at the same time also very similar and make you feel a similar sort of way like you know when you're alone and not sure what to do and then in the end when they feel like there's no point in hoping for a better future they get a glimpse of like their older and maturer selves in the future and that there's always some sort of hope it would be so adorable for them to see that sort of thing you know and it would kind of be a great message for the viewer that even though you feel small and uncertain of yourself right now you can grow up into bigger and better things this one would be really adorable i'm kind of getting like short movie vibes you know? Okay, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. Please let me know in the comments your thoughts on any of the ones I included, and if you can think of any songs you yourself would want to give a music video to that didn't get them. Can you think of any storylines? If so, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here and not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and if you turn on the notification bell, that should let you be the first to hear whenever I upload. As always, my social medias will be on screen if you'd like to give them a follow. I always follow back fellow K-pop fans, so let's be friends. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.